Yeah, I wanted to make another video. I got a couple of days off from my, from, um, my job. Uh, you see, what happened was, one of the things that happened was, um, you see, uh, it was uh, time for me to go in, in a room and, and do room change, a room change. And so I went inside to tell, to notify the patient, we're gonna move you to another room because uh, this and this and that. And sometimes there's no, there's no explanation. We just gotta move them. And sometimes they'll throw a fit or they'll get mad. But anyways, so I went in the room uh, and the man was sitting down in his wheelchair, big guy, black man, like 380 pounds, big man. Um, probably like 6'3", um, big dude. So, I was like, Mr. Murphy, uh, we're going to move you to another room. So, he, uh, he was asleep, like, really asleep. Like, he wouldn't wake up. So, I'm like, I got to let this guy know. Because if he sees me getting his stuff, he might just jump up and try to swing at me or something. You see, because we gotta get all his, all their their belongings, and and you know we gotta tell them they're moving and to another room or whatever. What's your stuff? We're gonna get all your stuff and put, put all your stuff in bags, and and we're gonna pack everything up and take it to the next to the to, to the room where they're going. So he wouldn't wake up. So I'm like, man, this is I gotta get by, you know, to get his stuff. But he's he's in the way on on, on his wheelchair, sitting down. Um, and he wouldn't wake up, so I touched him, like, Mr. Murphy, uh, you're moving to another room. He wouldn't wake up. So, I was like, man, what should I do? I was, like, thinking, right? Uh, so I called a nurse, just passing by. I was like, excuse me, man, can you help me? She's like, yeah, and can you please wake up Mr. Murphy? Because we have to change him, like, room change. We gotta change, uh, change him to another room. Yeah, I gotta get all his stuff, his bed, everything. Uh, so she w went inside, cause she's a female, she could touch them. I can't really touch no patients, nothing, you know? Uh, so this, this, this nurse was trying to wake him up and she noticed something on him. Uh, he, wouldn't, he wasn't breathing. So he was dead, like dead. Like, you know, I was talking to a dead person, like, I was trying to wake him up. I, I didn't know. So it was cold blue and, and everything. All the nurses came down and they tried to do CPR on him. The ambulance came from the streets from, from bigger hospitals. And and it, 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 he, he was dead. He was dead. They couldn't. They tried rescuing him. But he passed away he was on, on his 60s early 60s he looked he looked like he was on his 50s he, was, he looked young but you know he passed away and just recently a few days after before that we're singing a song we're singing some a song in the in the, in the dining hall you know because they get, get together there to watch videos or whatever and they were playing uh, some music videos and there was a cool song and we started singing it. Yeah, so, so he died. He died yesterday, I think, yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday or two days ago. I uh, got my days all confused right now. Um, but man, that's messed up, you know. Walked in the room to change, to change to change him to another room. I didn't know he was dead. I didn't know he was dead, like, you know? That was not even on my conscience, my mind. I thought he was just asleep. But you see, um, it was crazy. It was a crazy day in the hospital. And on top of that, at the same moment, another patient fell. So there was a lot of traffic, a lot of running around all over the place. So that's why I got a couple of days off. And not just that, but other other things too. So they gave me some, some days off. Um, Cause uh, they're thinking 
that this really affected me, Mr. Murphy's death. Um, so I don't know. I, I think he had personal pro heart problems or something like that. But I don't know. I don't want to start saying bad things, but uh, they're probably going to say that he died off COVID when he didn't. Um, so that's all I have to say for now. All right, guys. I'm trying my best to enjoy my days.